going? Welcome back to Rebeer Gamers. We're starting the thing. Welcome back to Rebeer Gamers. It's trial time. It Here is we trial go. time. So my Let's current that my current oh, theory go. is that it's one of these two people because he could have I he could have just been faking being drugged because he actually just wanted to kill Hifumi after Hifumi killed Taka, or it was her because she was the one who was disappeared. Who was disappeared? <laughs> All right, let's go. Makes sense to me. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. <sighs> <laughs> I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was abroad, aboard. Fuck. Amber, he's Makoto. No. The doors closed the, the on their did own, not come first. And the steel that. box began to move. Look how many people there. There's less and less people because two people did the dead. The clunking, of the, four people did the, dead the clunking of the elevator five, kept us company actually. as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled this, we couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, of course. We've done this twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. Probably the exact same time as the two previous times that you've two been here. Unless Monica was fucking with you. Yeah, he's just he's just sending it up and down like a couple times <laughs> just like in the middle just to fuck with you guys the elevator door slid open opening up onto a cruel fate yeah we've done this before <laughs> when i see all of you gathered together like this i realize just how few of you there are left your school life is slowly reaching its climax oh fuck <laughs> only because of you oh man monokuma is having everyone reach climax wow God damn it, I gotta figure out what his voice is again. Why? Why are you making us do such cool things to each other? What? What? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute! Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Don't rush me! Of course I'm gonna start it! I would never be like, stay tuned for the action pass class trial after this commercial break! But we would on Rebear Gamers. Play the ad, Michael! Are you tired of watching popular YouTube Let's Players take gaming seriously? Have you gotten bored of watching people like Grumpy Gamers, Mark Septic Pie, and others actually get to the end of a game? Hi there, I'm Future Michael. Here at Root Beer Gamers, we care about our viewers. That's why we strive to craft the ultimate video game viewing experience, filled with complete and utter mediocrity, for your pleasure. We're incompetent, so you don't have to be. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never hold out on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. And so, the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly deadly, <laughs> a deadly Makoto, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Oh, I did it right. Okay. Yeah, did. You want to save the data? Yeah. Saving. Got it. Saving. Okay, open the e-handbook. You can just fast forward this future, Michael. And we're back! Trials. Let's do this! All right. All right, I'm standing! Wait, oh I can't. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Get on with it already! No! <laughs> if you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But fucking... Can, can I... Can we get through this? We are... It's, he's said it twice. We already know who Listen, did Doug, it! <laughs> I like... This is the only voice I like doing anymore. Do do her voice while she's doing the... I already did it. She already did it. <laughs> I already did it! I already know who did it! It's intense! Who was it? It was Hiro. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found them in that suit. Don't try and deny it! You killed them! I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! <laughs> She's a fucking I'm a murderer! murderer. <laughs> Who are you calling a murderer? I'm sorry to say, Hiro, but we do have evidence. What if he was just really effeminate all of a sudden? Who are you calling a murderer? <laughs> <laughs> Blueprints for the suit. Pots, we assume, were used to build it, and all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I, I, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Is Hero really the killer? Or before anything else, we have to make that clear. Okay, okay there. Oh, he's doing a little. He's doing a little <laughs> thing. Robo Justice costume. Robo Justice blueprint. We got Hero's message. Let's listen to the shit. The blueprints, the suit box, they are all proof enough. Yeah, but it's proof positive. That you are the culprit. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. You're just bringing this up now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Is that really evidence? Hero, why? It's why did you like kill them? Said. No, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I should have been paying attention, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Compelling, compelling evidence. Okay, everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they're all proof enough that you were the culprit, okay. I don't think that's necessarily true. Hey, is there anything about that stuff? It's not true, it's a conspiracy. Those are the only Okay, so those are the only two. Compelling evidence. Here is really the kill. What could the contradiction be? <laughs> I had the, the fast forward button instead of the slow down button. They're right next to each other. It's a little they bit. They are, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think it's I think it's the Robo Justice blueprints. Let's use the blueprints on the blueprints. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. Oh, I need I to make, think about that shit. I make mistakes too a lot actually. Um. Oh wait. Why don't the blueprints make sense, Doug? The blueprints don't make sense because of the handwriting. Mm -hmm. I'll shoot him with the handwriting! <laughs> there we go. Shoot now him. we're figuring stuff out. Okay. The blueprints, got it! You got that wrong! You got that wrong, Bing Bong! Bing Bong! <laughs> bing, you Bing Bong, you got that wrong. Great! Are we sure that he, Hero really made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. This is the note that Hero wrote asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? I just realized they're talking about Alter Ego when Monokuma's in the room now. Oh, shit. Eh. Eh. They don't really care. They're all kind of stupid. Anyway. When, you, when yeah. you compare it to the blueprints... There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise the handwriting. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. See, this one's made out of tiny dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. So, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? And he's not the only one. I think Hiro is innocent as well. What? Then who was in that Robo Justice suit? Is it like Hiro said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? A suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. And of course, he passes it off to me. So, who was in the Robo Justice suit? Monokuma! The one that must have been in the suit. The Illuminati! The Illuminati! <laughs> well, no, it has to have been Hero, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got it! Got it! You're fucking wrong! <laughs> Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit, and we never find any kind of second suit. There can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. What the fuck are you on about, then? <laughs> You just said Hero didn't do it! Yeah, the same? It makes perfect sense. Hero is sus the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. Bum, bum, so bum. what you say is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption! Oh, just like my coffee! Ah! <laughs> and what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course, but before we get to that... There's something else we need to clarify first, so let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! All things have a proper order. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. He was moved on the dolly by using the tape on top of it! We have no idea tell what they could have been. Yeah, tell them what they could have The things that were used to move Taka's body, they must have been- It was the tarp and the- and the- and the dolly! Ah, oh, shit, what was it? Huh. Hmm. I think it was- the, I 
think it was the dolly. Get out of here. <laughs> Guys, I figured out it's the dolly. Things are removed to use Tiger Body. It's a tarp. A tarp. Huh. What is it? Why his message? <laughs> oh, was it his message? It was the fucking tarp. I just realized they gave oh. me three fucking minutes for this. Yeah. Oh, man. God damn. Oh, shit. Was it the hammer? Did they just punt his body over there? <laughs> oh, my God. You might have a point there. <laughs> Got it. Yay. Nice. They were a dolly and a tarp, right? What's with the attitude? So let's see if I can explain. I mean, this is easy to explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room, and then we rediscovered it in the repository, and when we found it the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? <laughs> Fucking blue tarp was obviously moved from the other shit. <laughs> <laughs> so the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it to disguise the shit. That way they literally wouldn't leave any blood stains, because obviously. Okay. That makes perfect sense. And the dolly. To make it fucking easier to use the, the transport of the body. It was in the fucking room. Yep. When the body disappeared, so did the dolly. Of oh, fucking course it did. Like, when it reappeared, there was the tar there was the, the tarp and the dolly. That should have blood words, on it. You think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Fucking... Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. It is, is it not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? There is no shame in being wrong. Nobody expects much from you anyway. Fuck you. We all have accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. Despite the fact that I fucking like, shh, fucking goddamn it! <laughs> wow, seen anyone what sound a so bitch. nice? What a bitch! <laughs> Change your mind. Explain the shit. A new element has been added. Oh, sure. Fuck. Bullet time battle is at the beginning this time. Let's talk about reloading. Ah shit. Starting with the bullet time battle, we're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. On oh. the bottom of the screen, under yeah. the tempo marker, oh, you'll see your shit. ammo count. Up till then, there hasn't been a limit on how you can destroy your opponent's aim. It's from now on, locking on and pressing the left mouse button won't be enough. Now it'll cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more, no matter how locked on you are. And you can reload by pressing tab. Just like locking on, you'll have to press the tab key in time with fucking goddamn it. Basically, just remember the tab key now as a function. Automatic reload is fever. Is the ammo not deep? But if the, the gen gentle fucking goddamn it. Oh god. Here we go, rhythm game with different buttons. This was a lot easier in the second game. The so moment well. of truth. Infinitely better than the second game. Mm -hmm. And you still managed to get it messed up. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it got to a point where I got a little. You got to the last trial and I explained a function of the game to you, Ashley. <laughs> oh, I got it. Yeah. That's the worst part. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah. Oh, negative time. So. Oh, oh, God. I don't remember how to do this. The beat. Uh, I can't hear the fucking music. <laughs> You, know, you also have negative time too, don't forget. Fucking. I'm doing it to the fucking rhythm! <laughs> you had a bullet. You gotta jump! God damn it! Jump I gotta to jump the to the rhythm. fucking rhythm don't jump! Forget, you have you have your time too. How do I do that? How does he do Space, it? I think. Space. Space! Yeah, now you can do it, whatever. This is way easier. Miserable wretch, you got it wrong. Got it! Bam! That's my least favorite part of this game. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's actually the worst. Break. If you're, asking for proof, if you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. In this brain hole. <laughs> the fucking blood stain. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. Blood? <laughs> there was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that exactly <laughs> matched the dolly's blood, tread. But you can't pronounce blood stain. <laughs> The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident when they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. Wow. Wow. That was the reaction. Well, anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah, the subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then what kind of robot is it? 
I'm not sure that really matters. Trouble folks. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. Tell them, Makoto. <laughs> Damn <right. laughs> What does he mean by that? Look at it, but it. You okay? Yeah, I had a cough going on. <laughs> Robo Justice costume, it's obviously. Obviously, Robo Justice costume. Unless it's the blueprints where it's like, the arms bend like this. <laughs> Okay, As we know, Taco was filled in the equipment room, and from there the body was moved to a repository, correct? Yeah, the culprit was wrapped, wrapped the body in a tarp, then loaded it into, onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Well, yeah, but even without a handle... All you'd have to do is bend over. Hold it! Oh! oh fucking god damn it! Oh, you had to push the body with no problem! Yeah, you got I to press, I press, I press fucking... Out. Oh, it's space bar. Fuck. Body after the repository. You accept everything we just said. Then you must realize that whoever was in the suit couldn't possibly be the culprit. Tell them, my AD. Oh, sorry. I don't think it really is anything. <laughs> the dolly was the fucking... Oh, man. Uh, wrapped in tarp. Uh, lo loaded! No, no, wrong Fuck, one. wrong one! I'm bad at this. Yeah, don't worry. I'm really bad at this. Oh, oh. you're getting close to death. Okay, here we go. Can't get a game over. Baba da ba ba boop ba ba dee ba ba dee ba ba dee bip. Ba ba dee ba ba dee bip ba ba dee ba ba Here it is! I did it this time! Ding dong, y'all are wrong. Ding dong, y'all wrong! Break. You're absolutely right that you could push your dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? Wh what do you mean? I've been in many an orgy wearing a, wearing a Robo oh. Justice suit. <laughs> Always had to take it off first. <laughs> think well, back to what you were really in an orgy in a Robo Justice suit, were you? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together, remember? Flashback. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't, or, wrong voice. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. When you're in that suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? Now that you mention it, yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. Well, that's what's to stop you from simply pushing the dolly with your feet. When you can't even see your feet, you really think someone could kick a dolly on that way? I just like to imagine he's going through the hall and say, like, Get the fuck <laughs> over there, talking. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like, Ugh! Kick this shit real quick. Yeah, it'd be totally impossible! Not that I can say for sure myself! <laughs> and not that I tried it. <laughs> on top of that, if you were wearing such a rigging. Rigid. Cumbersome <laughs> suit. Catching Makoto's yeah. disease. I just, I, just, I just like the idea that she's trying it. She's like, eh, kick the body. Kick the body. <laughs> 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 it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a top. Well, I mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? There's absolutely no chance that the costume was taken off just to move the body because once it's on, you can never, <laughs> never take it off. Obviously. <laughs> you, can take, you can't take it off by yourself. Got it. I got half a heart. I got a heart container. I don't think taking off the suit was an option, if you remember. I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? When, why would you need something you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid friggin' thing. There's a clasp on the back that's, that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. It looks like a lunch pail lock. A yeah, lunch pail lock. Because we, we don't really have a choice. Let's help him. <clears throat> that's true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without help. Then you really can't take it off by yourself? Hero wasn't just making it up? Of course I wasn't just making it up. If he couldn't have gotten if he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in that suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it's really looking like absolutely fierce. <laughs> yeah. But just yeah. Still yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Completely. So it's really, really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been here in the robot suit, correct? No, wait, just a second if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? 
You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Infumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Besides, do you remember what what the now deceased Hifumi said? How did you get hurt? That, that, that guy hit me. <laughs> what guy? Robo Justice. Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. Oh shit, that's suspicious as fuck. <laughs> In retrospect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, now that I know that he made the fucking suit, or I'm pretty sure he made the suit anyway, 99%. So long as those facts exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. The individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hiro, without a doubt. Yeah! Yeah, that's gotta be right! Oh, hold on a second. It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it. Before we wash, rush to a verdict, shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps. But where do we go from here? Let's review this series of unfortunate events that's a good book series from the beginning. Maybe we'll uncover something new. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! I don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. Alright then, let's take another look back to what happened. I suppose we could start with this morning. See, the morning began on the first floor, and then we ran <laughs> to the third floor. No! <laughs> Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. Is this really gonna happen again? Yeah, and I can't do this voice for that wrong. We waited for a while on the first floor, but nobody else showed up on the first floor, so we went to look for everyone on the second and third floors. That was around 8am on the first floor. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing on the first floor! Uh, fucking soon after that, uh, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me on the first floor. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour on the first floor after I was attacked by my mystery assailant on yeah, the first floor. But you were on the second floor. I was on the second floor. I'm sorry, I get my floors mixed up. Yeah. I was you're not getting, unconscious. You've gotten more than one floor confused now. I, got, I was unconscious. I'm sorry. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after seven on the first, second floor. <laughs> I'm being attacked on the second floor. <laughs> Do you want me to do it? Are you, are you not gonna do the voice anymore? You want me to do it? Sorry, I'm just really tired. That was when we saw Celeste's picture on the second floor and discovered that our assailant had been wearing a strange costume on the second floor. As it turns out, it was Robo Justice on the second floor. It also soon became clear that this same Robo Justice had abducted Hufumi on the second floor. Yeah, it abducted me on the second floor. <laughs> We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went to go find Hifumi in the library on the second floor. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office on the first floor and resumed our, pro our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office on the first floor. Uh, on the first floor. On the first floor. What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs near the second floor. When Celeste told us that on the first floor, we decided to split up and search the second floor on the second floor. Uh -huh. And soon after that... I saw something moving around on the third floor on the third floor, and I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did on the second floor. <laughs> Just... Celeste! <laughs> What's wrong on the second floor? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. On the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him on the third floor. That strange costume man on the third floor. He ran off to the third floor as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway on the first. Whatever fucking floor. It's I'm the third floor. The third floor and disappeared. <laughs> ah. And then on the third floor. <laughs> on the floor we are. Ungria. That was you. That's Yamada. That's. Oh. That's. Hey, Fumi. Fumi, sorry. Uh, I'm still gonna, because we don't know who it is, I'm still gonna say it monotone. Nya! Nya! <laughs> on the second huh? floor! On the third floor! But what was that? On the third floor! That came from downstairs on the second or first floor, who fucking knows? It must have been the Fumi! In the nurse's no, office it's, on it's, the first floor! Fumi, he's in the nurse's office on the first floor, you're saying my lines, Celeste. Oh, this is bad! We Come on, we have to go back to the first floor! Sorry. <laughs> At that point, we decided to, to divide up into two groups on the se on the third floor. Celeste, Tina, and I went back to the nurse's office on the first floor, while Fuck. Sakura, Byakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect on the third floor. God. I'm dead on the first floor! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when we got back to the nurse's office on the first floor, we found Hifumi dead on the first floor. Yep, on the first floor! <laughs> and that's when we heard the, bo the body discovery announcement on the first floor. I, le I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the other ones know what happened on the first floor. 
Meanwhile, oh, yeah, you're doing it now? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, we just discovered Taka's body in the third floor in the equipment room on the third floor. We <laughs> must have found both bodies on the third floor at almost exactly the same time. <laughs> because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body on except the third the, floor. Except the Hifumi wasn't dead. <laughs> And that's when I told you guys about Hafumi on the first floor. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office on the first floor. But right after we left the physics lab on the third floor, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us, and she told us something very surprising that happened on the first floor. Hafumi's body has disappeared on the first floor! <laughs> I've had to grab the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, ru we rushed back to the nurse's office on the first floor and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we left Togo passed out in the equipment room on the third floor, so we hurried back again to the third floor. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> This can't be happening on the third floor. <laughs> Are we hallucinating all this or something on the third floor? <laughs> Let's do you. Sorry. <sighs> but when we got there, we discovered that Taka's body had also gone missing from the third floor. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And after some time, Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies on the third floor and we all headed to the repository on the third floor, which is where we rediscovered the corpses on the third floor. I think that about covers it. On all of the floors. It was very, very clear, I guys. was on the second floor! I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. Especially when you add in all the fucking all floors. The floors. Why really... were you guys talking like that? <laughs> it was really obnoxious and not funny. Yep. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. It's a series of unfortunate events. Yep. Okay, well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to reconsider. Re fucking. Why am I tripping on my words? I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. The contradictions hidden in what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth, I have to find them. No matter what! <laughs> Time to start spinning! Whoa, spin, getting dizzy! You spin me right round, baby, right round. Broken wrist, watch Monokuma file three. Okay! <laughs> also, Yasuhiro's message couldn't fit it into the rhythm. Yeah. So, regarding Taka's death, I, wa I wonder if he died before he threw oh, me, or perhaps it was after. Oh, we already know what order they were killed in! I think Taka, Taka came last! What makes you say that? The numbering in hand is just because of the numbering, the now that you mention it, it's true that Femi was killed with the three. With the three? <laughs> and Taka's came from four. It's obvious. I think it's probably there. That makes perfect sense. If a number's bigger, that means it comes later. Right? Yeah. So, so broken wristwatches, uh, what order, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. No. Nope. What the what? fuck? Is that not right? No, I like that! Shit. Oh, boy. I'm no, actually no. confused now. Wait, what was it? I think it was another... It can't be. It must be the watch. It might be the Monokuma. Is the Monokuma file for the time of death? No. No. Because that would give it all away. We already know what we're... Can't be us here as message. The number one the justice mode? <laughs> might die. It might be the end. Makoto. Am I, I going to get my first Gamma Obar? You're Obar? steering the Titanic. Here comes the glacier. Wait. Am I supposed to use the... Wait. Is it? Do you have to take Oh, that might be it. Mm. I can't remember. The numbering of the justice. You know, I'm gonna try it, and then if I get a gamma ova or whatever. And I remember, sometimes it matters that you pick the right one. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think it? Do you think Dude, it's? Do you think I don't it's, know. Do you think it's what order, and then? Well, we don't. Well, let's see. The it's what order or the numbering? But the numbering is misleading too. Uh, so which one do you think I should try? Because honestly, order honestly, and then the numbering. What, I guess. what order? Take what order? order the, the numbering. Concentrate. Sorry, you got it. Uh, what makes you say that? The numbering. The numbers, Mason. What did it mean? There we go. Woo! It's a close one, Makoto. We wow, almost you died. Back. That clipped really bad. I do in fact hate that. Do we? Is the game okay? Game, sit down. 
Hold on, there's no reason to assume that the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. If anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order, but in reality, the Taka was killed before Hifumi. Okay then, let's see the proof. Evidence that he was- I feel like it's something. It's a hangman's gambit. No! Oh, oh wait, 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 shit. wait, 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 this one- uh, This is gonna be rough because you have watch. half a- oh. Okay, there we go. Good. Uh, Just need an eye at some come point. On, eye. There it is. Give me an S. Give, Give me, me a T. So. Give me a W. Give me another T. And a C. And an H. Yeah, that one was the easiest. What does that spell? What? 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 Excuse me? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Does the game not know? What? The game doesn't know how to spell, people. Maybe a letter came in front of it at the last minute. What? I don't know. Michael, can you please replay Run what that back. fucking happened there? Run that back, future Michael. Run that Michael. back so we can figure out if we were wrong or if the game fucked up. Okay, and then so then we'll insert our reactions here. The game fucked the up. Game How could we do that? Up. I can't fucking believe this. I can't game. believe this it. Is fucking okay, all right. Ridiculous. Oh, that makes perfect. Oh, um, okay. All right, the letter came in front of the it. The letter okay. came. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry, okay, guys. Okay, we're kind of right. we fucked up. Fucked up big time. <laughs> okay, let's continue. <laughs> let's let's do this again. All right, now that we've figured out which one of those two it is, and Michael's inserted the, the appropriate reaction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll continue. Uh oh, have we already come to the end of the debate? Well, then the class trial is officially adjourned. Now it's time to reveal who's the blackened. Is this what happens? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is what yeah. happens. Yeah. Oh man. Gamma Ovar. It would appear the one with the most votes is Makoto. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. However, Makoto is not the black and too bad. Looks like the real killer gets to graduate. Congratulations to them. On the other hand, everyone else must now be punished. Is this really it for us? Is, is it all over? Want to give punished? it another shot, Buck? Yeah. Is, this, is this the continue screen? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. I can't give up now, obviously. Yeah, all your hearts. Wow, that is, like, no penalty. Yeah, pretty much. Your grade goes down. <laughs> you just down get down. less coins at the end. Okay, so, wow. Let's, Gotta, let's do this stupid. again. Man's Gambit. I'm not gonna die this time. Because Hopefully. I know how to spell wristwatch. And since yeah. we've technically already done this, it's fast forward each time. Yeah. yeah. We've already done take this. Take this time to fill my nose. Already done oh, this. <laughs> we've already done it. Oh, you pressed the whoops. wrong button. Face pressed the wrong button. <gasps> w! Oh, yeah. Yay! It's our end. T. T. Oh, shit. H. There well, it goes. See, like... It must have been a letter went in front of it. At the no, but I moment. was clicking on the H. I know, but... It, it has to destroy the letter for me to lose a life. Like, yeah, so I have no idea what happened. I've got it. Talk is rich, Waku. Because that's how the game thinks <laughs> it's spelled. <laughs> See, look, it broke with the hands point. Broke with the hands pointing just past six o'clock. It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer, because as of last night. Hey, you! How long are you gonna keep us waiting? Talk is irritated. Voice pierced the air as he stared. Pierced the this heavens! Way. It's almost ten o'clock. You know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. So if it wasn't broken after six last night, then he must have been attacked around six this morning. And that would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Hifumi. Oh, that's me, sir. Sorry. And before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. That's right. Taco was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us, except for me in real life. <laughs> we made the wrong assumption about the order of events all just because of those justice hammers. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make the wrong assumption. Now, if Taka was killed around 6, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Because when he was killed, he hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder, but all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's right! With him, at least, we're all safe! Unya. <laughs> huh? Well, what was that? 
Oh, oh this, this is this is came from them downstairs. It must oh have been. Oh my god, it's this yeah, scene the same again. One. Uh, Hafumi, god damn it. Down on the first floor. When we heard Hafumi screaming, we were all together, except for Hiro and Kyoko. Yeah, bitch. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found his body. That's totally true. We're all in the clear. <laughs> I was sucking his neck. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, I know. They, they must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on. If that that's true, sense. where's the tape? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't go m just go making stuff up, dumbass. Don't go making stuff up. I won't go making stuff up. Anyway, we all have rock solid alibis for rock when we hard heard the alibi. scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly, uh, fuck. <laughs> clearly none of us could have killed him. <laughs> it was just been her voice the whole time. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office. Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? And then there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. And that time, we were all gathered around in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time! Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged off Taka's body right out of the- er, a body out of there right then. I can speak. Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's body. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when the body disappeared. Besides, I didn't do either of them anyway! In other words, is it possible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies? On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared, so they most certainly could have done those things. Hmm, so what now, Ki So what now, Kyoko? For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. That's true, we searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. And according to what Celeste said... We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. So then the killer was able to get in and move the fucking... Yeah. His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third in that short of amount of time... Oh man, yeah, there's no way. It'd be impossible. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. What? I didn't know about this before the episode because I figured it out because I have a brain. <laughs> the, the dead body moved on its own? No, 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 no. Toko! I was trying to make it a beat. Ghost. I don't think it has anything to do with the ghost. Moron. I think what she's implying is... We thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality, he was still alive! He was alive? Yeah, he, he came still alive! alive. Bam, bam, like I just bam. fucking said. Well, he came alive Especially because he was back later and you saw it! <laughs> I'm not you the smartest! Saw it. I'm an athlete! Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but he simply walked out on his own? But I mean, we found his body! He was dead! Perhaps he was simply playing dead. It is impossible! Except it is. The idea that he was still alive, is it really possible? Yes! It was super possible. In fact, that's what it was. <laughs> Look, Jenna's I wonder if off. there's any evidence that could prove that it happened. Uh, are you saying, are you saying that yeah, 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 chance he was actually still alive? No, I think I'm gonna have to, to focus on a fucking yeah, thing again. Yeah, like it. It. Fumi was dead, without a doubt, but then you used to know that how. Surely you heard the body destroyer announcement. Surely? And then uh, our dead body had been found. If Fumi's dead body, that's why an announcement was made. Are we really sure about that? Are you sure? Someone else is discovered. Whoa. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that's what I have to do. Yeah, no. Kyoko never says anything wrong. Yep. And that's definitely not a rule that will ever be broken. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm sure it'll never be broken. Yep. 
Boom. Boom. I'm good so at this game. I'm good at this game. I didn't die earlier this episode. <laughs> Rock A. Was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? Oops, I had it on auto. <laughs> of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe. But that was also the same... F that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. First of all, two bodies have been found. There really should have been two announcements. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comments? Well, it is a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, that didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. No, actually, that was plenty. Huh? He said it only broadcasts when a body is discovered for the first time, which means, even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Huh? Later on? Exactly! We heard the body discovery announcement twice! The second body discovery announcement, the first time it was played, and the second time was when... Uh... Yeah. Huh? Because it was before that, actually, yeah. for some reason. You remember he came back to life after... Uh, when you went no. in the room, it went off. Yeah, you yeah, know. I don't think it did. Yeah. I, thought it, I thought it played after he died again. If you believe... You can choose what you believe. It, it will just let you... Pick You're only gonna one. lose a heart. I think it was this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, I, I clicked the wrong one, but you were right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we, we heard it a second time in the repository when we just re rediscovered the two bodies. Even though he still wasn't dead. Bing bong, you're wrong. I'm gonna argue with you, and I think it was this one you two were arguing for all along. <laughs> no, I, it was an accident, but you guys Bing were bong, you're wrong. You guys were right. A body has been discovered after a certain amount of time, blah, blah, blah. It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, didn't it? Exactly. If we actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. Then in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being discovered for the first time! Whoa! So when we found Nifumi the first time... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 In the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet, meaning he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon him in the repository. And that's just part of it. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's office. Oh! Oh! I know! I know! Because he was super good at playing dead! Bada bing bada boom! Man, I wish that moon was going straight through your head. <laughs> that is the worst logic I have ever heard. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Okay then, let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. This whole thing is pointless. Oh, there has to be proof. We're all yawning now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all yawning now. <laughs> yeah. Fumi's glasses. I'm gonna guess it was that. Getting my true bullets, even though this is a six chamber gun. <laughs> There's one thing, you know. Hey, don't complain. Later time. on, you do get six bullets. Uh -huh. You're gonna get a lot later. <laughs> then, well, me and Celeste. Wait, are we were... playing on me? Yeah. Oh. On... No, we're uh, playing on the hardest difficulty. Yes, bo me. His body disappeared. <laughs> the same, next time we saw his body, he was in the repository. But when they compare his body before being moved and his body after, she says there's no difference. Uh, mm -hmm. Damn it. They tried to trick you. They tried to trick me. Mm -hmm. Ah, they tried to trick me. Ah, <laughs> my heart. Again. So you think you can trick me with that fake ammo? Oops. <laughs> Next time we saw his body, it was a new repository and being moved. Uh. I need to change, uh, I need to change, uh, no, 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 Dimble difference! Hold Fuck it! Up. Hold it! Hold on! Break! <laughs> in fact, there was one clear difference between Hifumi and the nurse's office in the repository. Get it clear! It was his glasses! For that fact alone, it proves he was only playing dead in the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in. First time, glass said blood. Second time, 
They didn't. Yep. Yep. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. <laughs> Uh, what did I find? Oh my god, was it Hifumi's glasses? <laughs> it was the do the the Wait, Are we are we doing these episodes? Are we doing this for one episode and then the second half of the trial in the next episode? Or yeah, or just one episode. Oh god. Oh no. well, then we'll find out if it was Hifumi's glasses next time we review your game. No, I think we can go a little longer. It's fun. It's not fun. Yeah. It would be funny. <laughs> Fine. You want to end the episode the next time on Root Beer Gamers? Next time on Root Beer Gamers, was it his glasses he used to clean the glasses? Find out next episode. See ya! <laughs> <laughs>